I'm back. Uh, this is the three month catch up video. Um, to kind of check in about what I've been doing over the last little while and um, how, how my PhD is going since I last spoke to you guys. Um, so I spoke a lot before on uh, the kind of um, atmosphere in the Netherlands doing PhD, scientific PhDs in general and uh, publications. So since then, um, three of my colleagues that are um, also in my group doing PhDs, uh, they're finishing, so I'm like the only PhD student left, so that's kind of daunting. Um, so I've been to a couple of PhD defences again here. Um, some of them have been in Dutch, so following the kind of scientific questions in a different language, even though I'm learning it, is a little bit difficult, but it gets a kind of idea of the types of questions that I would be asked because they're obviously in my field, in, in my department. Um, and I found that I could follow kind of the things I'll be expected to answer. So that that's nice. Um, I was published, well, I wasn't published, a colleague of mine was published and I worked on some of the research in that paper. So I was like fourth author or something like that. So it's not a huge deal, but I was really happy that my name's on something and um, some of my work uh, that I had been doing has kind of culminated in something because a lot of the time so far it's felt like negative results and, and I haven't really been able to um, apply it to something further. So um, that's been really positive. We had um, a collaborator meeting in London, um, which was two of the labs that we work with in the UK um, and our lab in the Netherlands coming together to discuss future projects, future collaborations and um, things we'd be working on. So one of the ideas is that I go to Sheffield um, and work on some, um, some cell culture stuff with them, which will be really interesting. Um, so I'll be doing that uh, in the coming months. Um, we've been discussing future projects that I'll be doing with some postdocs here. So I've started a new project on proteomics, which I haven't done before. So I'm learning some new techniques with that, which will be really interesting. But in order to do some of these things, we've had to set up an, a new cell culture lab. Um, you have to have different gradings um, for cell culture. So you have um, kind of depending on the types of microorganisms you're working with for the level of safety it needs to be um, in tune with. So you need different licenses for different rooms that have certain um, airflow requirements and um, the ability to have a sink in there, blah, blah, blah. So I have been in charge of um, buying new, well, not buying, but uh, ordering new um, equipment and everything we need to set up an ML2 lab. Um, so the equipment's just arriving now, so we're setting up a flow hood, new microscope, um, everything in this new room, and then I'll have um, me and one other lab will be sharing this um, this ML2 cell culture laboratory. So I'll be doing my work in a new place, which will be interesting. It's on the 24th floor of the Erasmus building, so you get a really good view, and um, so that's nice. So everything is kind of um, pausing right now in terms of my projects because uh, it's the summer holidays for a lot of the people coming up. Um, I've been doing some of the new cell culture and I'll be taking two weeks off um, to move into a new flat um, in a few weeks. So until then I'm, I'm trying to kind of wrap up some of the stuff and freeze some of my cell lines so that I can uh, take these two weeks and not have to come in too often. Because uh, I'll be staying in Rotterdam but I, I won't be um, in work as much. Um, and because some of the other people in my group are, are then moving on and leaving, we'll be having a lot of social gatherings and parties and <laughs> things over the summer, so that's going to be really nice. It's been pretty good weather, so barbecues and um, the whole of Erasmus does a picnic in the park where we, um, we got, uh, yeah, given lots of really nice food and you go and sit on the nice picnic tables and get some, some free drinks and free food and, and sit in the sunshine, so that was really nice. Um, we also went on a PhD retreat, so it was, um, it's a collaboration between the genetics and clinical genetic departments of the Erasmus MC and the Leiden University Medical Centre, LUMC, um, in Leiden, obviously. Um, and they, uh, we get together once a year for a conference and once a year for a, um, just a, a seminar day uh, where it's just talks from uh, from different people. But the conference was this year in um, Dortmund in Germany. 
So we went to Dortmund and we uh, went skiing in this indoor like skiing place. I'd never been skiing before, so that was really fun. Um, and we went uh, on yeah the activities that day, and we had three keynote speakers who are kind of more uh, less to do with our specific um, niches or or uh, subjects, and more uh, a general and um, interesting science that's been going on in the Netherlands or Germany or Belgium, um, and we. Yeah, uh, we present posters or talks uh, of our work. So I presented a poster of one of the projects that I was working on this year. Um, and I think it went quite well. Someone in our department won the poster competition. And then um, we have a, all of the fourth year, third and fourth year PhD students give um, presentations, 20 minute presentations. Um, and then they're judged as well and, and graded. So next year um, at, the, at the retreat, I'll be giving a presentation. So. Um, That'll be interesting. I hope I've got some concrete results by then. Um, so in general, the last three months has been pretty full on. I've been um, back and forward between here in the UK for the collaborations and um, working pretty full on on the cell culture and trying to get everything set up for the summer. So um, as well as the conferences and stuff, it's been um, a lot of time in the lab, which has been really good. Um, I've got some other new stuff that I'm working on so hopefully in this six month catch up I'll be able to tell you more about my cell work if it's kind of got any results and um, maybe I could show you some pictures we'll decide then <laughs> um, anyway so that's just a little brief overview of what I've been doing um, and I'll see you in another three months bye <laughs>